you do not need everything you think you need to do what you got to do or want to do. For real. You know, you, you just got to do it, put it out there, and those who like it will find it. You don't need the, the huge machine to People find. People will share it. Yeah. yeah People it'll, will it'll, share it. If they like it, they'll share it. And motherfuckers will find out about you through word of mouth. Yeah, it'll get to where it needs to go. You know, have confidence in yourself. You know, if you're an artist, you don't need that. You just create, you know. And uh, to say what your worth is, is that's not up for you. That's not you to, for you for you to decide, you know. To, to find out your worth is you create something and you release it. And then you let every, it becomes public domain. And then they decide if they, they like decide, it or they yeah. don't. And... There will always be, no matter who you are, what you did, there will always be someone that loves that and people that hate that. And then the whole crowd of of the unknowns in the middle, they don't know because they never heard or whatever. You know, they're just, they got, everyone's life is, is, is so in a constant now. I feel like it's nonstop for everybody now. Like, right. you know, the to have the, the, the luxury of sitting here and enjoying this is, is amazing. And, and I really... You know, I sit here and do this, enjoy this, but I, I say to everybody, you know, you, you really should do it too, because why not? Why not? You, you, the, the, the perspective you would gain for self sitting around doing this and recognizing that you are actually worth far more than you ever understood, because everyone's been telling you what you're not worth the whole time. You know, get a little confidence, you know, enjoy something. It's natural, you know, it, 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 it brings everything to focus. That's you right, know? it does. You know, speaking of which, you know, it brings everything to focus. I know you ain't mad at going to Colorado and Washington these days. Never have been. Are you guys going to do any 420 shows? Man, I don't know. I would, I mean, it, I'm never opposed to it, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm actually not. amazed we haven't. Yeah, I'm amazed we haven't <laughs> either. What the fuck? I don't, you know. Do we need to put that together, man? <laughs> Gee, you Jesus know, Christ. Like, how's that? Dude. How's that happen? How do we, you know? Yeah, Deftones need to be in Denver and Washington on the days of the fucking most sacred of, of days. Or in the Bay Area. It, or better yet, here in Cali. You, you know, I, I, 420 show. I, I have to say that I feel, you know, there's there's sometimes I, I feel like, you know, weed takes like its setbacks in life. Yeah, you know does. what I mean? Of course. But I feel like it's at such, it's at the such, such at the apex right now where it's about to be like, you know, people are finally awakened to the fact that it's like, you know, Everything that they said about it has been a total lie. True that. And and you know, let's be let's be realistic. It's not just that. I mean, we could talk about our entire existence as everything we everything we know, everything we've been taught, it's all been a lie. We have to live through this this reality where this known lie is consistently and continuously perpetuated as truth. It bl it's mind blowing every day. And you and and until you unplug yourself from the the endless cycle of this abuse that goes on, you don't ever see it. You, you go through this, what is known as chaos, as its normality, and it's mind blowing. <laughs> you know, people go on oblivious to it. You know. <clears throat> now, a lot. You know what? A lot, I think a lot of people don't know this, but you were an avid Tiger Woods. Uh, you know, um, video game. Video game. Mm -hmm. You were number one in the world online for for many years. I don't right? know. No, just for 2005. Two, oh, for and, 2005. And, I, and I believe it's only it would only been for U.S. You know, oh, on for US, the PS oh, for online. US. Like That's it, still pretty like, fucking big. How like many users was, is that? Oh, there was thousands on there. You know, there was probably you know at least twenty thousand players that were on there. And you were number one in the U.S. Yeah. I, well, yeah, I was the I. Ultimately, what it takes to be number one online in a video game, you do got some skills, but it's literally to totally geek out and shut your life down and play the game the whole time. Every day, all day. Because all it takes to be number one online is simply points. Points are gained by wins. Points are lost by losses. That's all there is to it. So you play and play and play. You win and win and win. And the, the greater your win streak, the greater your points would be. So the only way you could be number one online is to dedicate your whole time to it. And you 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 shut down for a while and did that. Oh, I I I I, I did did that at all times except for the times when I had to do whatever else I had to do. Well, shows and stuff. Like <laughs> record studio. Oh, I would play. You like know, but <laughs> we did a we did a little tour during that time as when that when the 2005 game came out. And you take shit with you. And well, at the time we we were we were riding out in uh, Malibu for a few months, and uh, 
when we decided to work with Bob Ezrin, we booked a tour to work our way back to a studio on the East Coast. And on that tour, I brought I brought my PlayStation and a little TV to play. And I was just, I it was mandatory that I was be able to plug in and get online so I could play my game. Because if I couldn't play, I was watching every other fool on there playing their points and climbing. I'm like, oh man, I'm just losing because I can't even play. You can't even get on. So I so get on. So it doesn't give you a chance to get uh, get back at your stats. Yeah, you know, so it's like you gotta you gotta put the time in and uh I uh I would play it, you know, get to the venue and if I could get on the internet I'd play it all day long till sound check, do sound check and then I'd play it all evening until <laughs> till the show. I get maybe like a half hour before I get ready. It's you like know, a and, drug for you. Oh uh, it was fully it was crack, you know, and uh I, I thankfully was able to kick that in, in, in <laughs> the beginning of two, Tiger Woods. by summer of 2006. Uh, I was able to kick that. You know, I was at by July of uh, it, the new game for you know comes out every every fall like around September and so by uh, you know like July August I knew I'd already had it seized up and I, I didn't even worry about it. I just stopped playing. I was like, and I told people I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go do this for real. And I started playing golf for real. And I love golf. It's amazing. It's probably the most amazing sport that's ever been invented because it's ultimately about you. You know, you're playing a course. You're not playing you anybody. Can't blame it on nobody. Yeah, the, it's the just er you and the fucking. And it's it's and it's everything about you. You know, it's how you carry yourself. You know, you could go out there and get frustrated, but if all you do is throw a tantrum, well, that won't fix the problem. That won't make you better. No. So you really learn to be, you know, become a better person. You're not a, you're gonna learn to become perfect, but it will definitely guide you down the right path. If you take it serious, right? And uh, how I, serious I lo did you take it? Oh, totally! I love golf. I still take it serious, but you I still haven't. Golf? Yeah, but I haven't. I just recently started playing in the last few weeks, and I haven't played prior to that probably for about nine months. Because hmm. I just, you know, I've I, I switched. Over, I tell people I've been. I, I've switched over to some new gear, you know, a couple years ago, and and since we made the record, you know, I I, I struggle with it, but not because. I didn't understand the machine. I just never really had the time and place to sit down and tweak on it and really dig into it and make it sound great up until like, you know, last year. So I finally got to a place where, you know, I've got, you know, everything sounding pretty good. It's not 100% yet, but at least I'm at a place where it's like, like I got, I'm on track with everything. I could start to breathe and, and enjoy a little bit of life again, you know, but you know, I, I don't do it all the time because I still got, you know, since I, like I said, since I've been doing it, I'm, we're doing doing writing for Deftones. I'm also doing writing with Sol Invicto right now, and uh, I just recently moved, so I'm not even unpacked for moving yet. It's I've, I've gone nonstop, you know. Woe is me. <laughs> All right, since we're in the smoke box, last question, and I I know the answer to this, but they gotta fucking hear it. What, what's your favorite strain that you like to smoke? Because you are an avid smoker. You smoke like a fucking train when it comes to uh, when it comes to flour, and you've been doing a lot of dabs lately, you know, or uh, wax, I should say. Yes. Um, my favorite strain has still been to this day always the OG Kush, and that is, you know, since we've met. As it should be. And um, that's that's not that's not a slide on everybody's everybody's brand because there's so many great tasting you know flavors out there and uh but i find you know no matter what the name is they are the best ones are all still a variation of the og kush True that. and like i said you know not a not a i'm not trying to put down the rest because they're all delightful just the same but i will still always love the taste of the og kush because it's it's the same great scent and flavor to the very end you know i mean we're down here i don't know i'd say a little past midway on this and it's still as if we just started it True only that. it's a little shorty of it yeah still good to the very last hit and what about uh what about uh, your favorite uh shatter or wax or whatever you know i've never I've never really got into the, you know, the, the the different flavors of it. I've got no. I've, I've tried. I've had. I feel like I've had a pretty good variety on all of all of the the concentrates, and and I find that they're all great. Ultimately, you know, they all get you where you're trying to go. You know, and my preference for them is is simple. You know, it, 
you I get to feel the way I want to feel without having to sit around forever with the massive cloud choked out stanked out <laughs> <laughs> not and, and I should it should be said that I personally have no problem with it but unfortunately there's people in this world that have drank the kool-aid and they don't and they feel that it's fair of them to pass judgment on you as if they knew better and, and it's like how, how dare you judge without ever doing True that. <laughs> it's insanity we live in an existence where insanity is the norm and I'm and you're expected to remain sane through insanity anytime which you lose your grip on insanity you know you become insane all the insane people are like ooh, ooh crazy crazy because it defers all the attention away from the crazies. Yeah, it's like a distraction <laughs> for them. And it's, you know, I, there's, you know, I, I feel, you know, this constant, you know, sometimes where the tide is like, man, we're really making strides forward in life. And people are really recognizing that, man, we are all here together and we're going to have a great time together. And then I have these other times where I think, man, we are so dis disconnected from each other. How did it happen? Like... I felt like we were on such a great path. Why are we why are we backsliding? Yeah. Who is fumbling the ball? <laughs> yeah, you know, I think it's it's a lot of the shit that they put on TV, it's a lot of the music, it desensi desensitizes people and and uh, people just don't give a fuck about each other like, you know, <laughs> like they should unfortunately, you know what I mean? But I'll tell you what, when you smoke a lot of this, it changes your perspective. You might be cooler to somebody else because you're like and it should definitely say that it doesn't just change your perspective all it does is add perspective to your life because otherwise you just you just live in the lie that somebody's already taught you this this says hey wait a minute maybe they're wrong maybe I should just find out now don't get me wrong I'm not gonna say that you should do everything you know but the reality is when it comes to whatever fill in your blank substance you know they should all be treated the exact same way. They should all be available for everybody. And anybody that wants to do the substance they like should be able to go get it in a peaceful way. Regardless of whatever that is. You know, they say, oh, you shouldn't, you want to make meth legal? I'm like, I don't want to make meth legal. But do you think they get, you think it's a great way now? I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. I said, it's never going to go away. Like, our problem is we think things go away and they don't exist. You know, we live in a world where, if we don't look at it or we don't talk about it, oh, it, it doesn't exist. That's insane. The most insane shit exists in our world every day. And it's dismissed every day as, oh, that, that didn't happen or that's just too crazy. I can't believe that. That's, it's mind-blowing. <laughs> mind-blowing, man. Fill, pick your topic, fill in the blank. It's like, wow, really? Crazy. And I get it, you know what I mean? Everybody... Nobody wants to, to to rock the boat. Nobody wants to uh, lose their time or, or or risk their lives to you know make a difference. And they let the others do it. And you know if it doesn't work out for them, you know they get dismissed as the radical, insane. Don't get me wrong. The gen the the genuinely insane people out there, they're visible. <laughs> Pretty much. They don't care. They don't like, what? I don't give a fuck. They, and they don't. <laughs> man, it's always a good conversation with you, my man. Thank you for coming into the smoke box and taking the time to chop it up and smoke that big ass joint. Woo woo. Where can, where could they find you on Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff? Um, should be on the same, both, both Instagram and Twitter. I'm at, uh, Steph D O double G. Spelled out S T E F B O double B O U B L E G. Let a G. D O double G. D O double G. <laughs> that's Lord. that's for the love for Snoop. What up, Snoop? That's right. He's been in the smoke box. You're part of an elite crew now. Yeah. The smoke box crew. Leave your comments. Subscribe to the channel. All right. Support Deftones always, Stephen Carpenter, the Deftone always. All right, and make sure you watch the Dr. Green Thumb show Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to 6 p.m. at www.bereal.tv. Thank you for watching the Smoke Box.